Hi, fourth graders. Welcome to your Making Meaning lesson for today. My name is Ms. Tomashow. My students usually call me Ms. T. I'm a teacher at Hazel Wolf K-8 school. Uh, and I want to welcome you to my classroom. Um, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I'm actually sitting in a corner of my daughter's playroom. Um, on the second floor of our house. It's really hot up here today. Um, this is not my usual classroom. We're just finding places to learn and teach the best way we can in our homes right now. And it feels kind of funny, feels kind of weird. I'm teaching this lesson or recording this lesson at 8.15 at night after my toddler has gone to bed. That's not what I'm used to teaching. Um, but we are all just doing the best we can right now. And I'm really happy to be um, teaching and learning with you and getting ready to read a great book with you. And uh, I know that you're doing the best that you can wherever you are also. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of this lesson. Um, I want to let you know that um, there will be a couple of times today as I'm reading and as we're thinking that I will ask you to stop and think and then I'll ask you to turn and talk or turn to your partner. I know that you may not actually have somebody to talk to. Um, it's okay to talk to a family member, to a pet, to a stuffed animal, to an invisible person, whatever makes you feel most comfortable, but it really is important and helpful to talk your ideas out loud, get them out of your brain and out into the world. Even if nobody's hearing them except for yourself, it still helps grow those ideas. So please do turn and talk when I ask you to turn and talk. And then I'm actually today going to be asking you to write a little bit as well. So if you don't have a pencil or a pen and a piece of paper um, or the district packet for this week with um, it open to today's lesson, um, take a second to go get those things right now. All right, and hopefully you're ready. Um, Okay, so here we go. So in the last lesson, we read an excerpt, which means a part of a picture book um, of Amelia Earhart. And um, we read this page over here. And after we read it, we identified important ideas from the text. And then we also identified some supporting details. It's really important to practice identifying important ideas and supporting details as you read um, because it really helps you understand and enjoy what you're reading, especially with nonfiction texts. It really helps you hold on to what you're supposed to be learning from a text. So we are going to keep working on that today. We're going to think about and talk about and write a little bit about important ideas and supporting details in the rest of this excerpt from A Picture Book of Amelia Earhart. Um, so I'm going to start reading where we left off on this page here. Starts with, they never made it. And then I'm going to go on and read the next two paragraphs on the next page also. And then we'll stop and we'll talk a little bit about what important ideas you identify um, from, these, from these parts of the text. All right, so think as you listen about the important ideas and also what information supports or provides more details about those important ideas. Okay. They never made it. Amelia Earhart and Fred Noonan disappeared somewhere in the Pacific Ocean. There was an enormous search, but they were never found. Before she was lost, Amelia wrote to her husband, I am quite aware of the hazards. I want to do it. Women must try to do things as men have tried. When they fail, their failures must be but a challenge to others. Amelia Earhart was America's first lady of the air. She was a courageous flyer, a pioneer. She risked her life to prove that in the air and elsewhere, women were up to the challenge. She certainly was. All right, so let's go back to this page. On this page here, just take a moment to think, what do you think is the important idea from this section of the text? Think to yourself. 
And then just go ahead and say it out loud. And as you say it, support your thinking by adding on the reason I think this is. So the important idea from this part of the text is, and the reason I think this is, And then go ahead and choose one supporting detail that, that really supports that important idea on this page as well. And I'll ask you to turn and talk again. And again, I'm gonna ask you to turn and talk about what is it that makes you think that? What is your reason for thinking that that is a supporting detail to the important idea you identified? I'll hold this up again. So a supporting detail to this idea is and the reason I think this is. All right, so I was thinking about this also, and you may have come up with something different, but I was thinking that the important idea on this page is really that um, they never made it, that they did not complete their journey. And then I'm gonna switch colors here. If you have a different color to use here, that would be great. Um, I'm going to underline the supporting detail that I found in a different color. So my important idea is that they never made it. A supporting detail could be that there was a search for them, but they weren't found. And the reason I think that's a supporting detail is because um, it kind of, it goes along with the fact that they never made it. So an enormous search on its own, that's not the important idea, but it really does help us understand more about the fact that they never made it. Um, not only did they not make it, but they were never found. That, But they were never found, that's like, that's an added and a supporting detail to this big important idea here. Okay, so let's check out the next page also. Um, I'll reread this one more time. And as I'm rereading, keep thinking, what is an important idea from this page and what is a supporting detail? Before she was lost, Amelia wrote to her husband, I am quite aware of the hazards. I want to do it. Women must try to do things as men have tried. When they fail, their failures must be but a challenge to others. Amelia Earhart was America's first lady of the air. She was a courageous flyer, a pioneer. She risked her life to prove that in the air and elsewhere, women were up to the challenge. She certainly was. Okay, so go ahead and think to yourself, what is an important idea on this page? And what is a supporting detail to that important idea? And why do you think that? Go ahead and turn and talk out loud. An important idea from this page is, and a supporting detail might be, and the reason I think this is, okay, so um, you might have been thinking, you might have been thinking something else. What's most important is that you're supporting your idea with a reason. But if you're like me, you might have been thinking that an important idea from this page is kind of this last sentence that she risked her life to prove that in the air and elsewhere, women were up to the challenge. So I'm going to go ahead and underline that in purple. That's my important idea color. She risked her life to prove that in the air and elsewhere, women were up to the challenge. The reason I think that's an important idea is because it's kind of what Amelia did throughout her whole life. There are lots and lots of examples, um, like her studying auto repair, her deciding not to get married when she was younger, her deciding that she wanted to fly across the Atlantic alone, there are lots of examples of Amelia Earhart really wanting to be this woman who could prove that women could do all of these things that people thought that they couldn't. So that feels like a really important idea to me. Um, and a supporting detail that I found was um, that she was a courageous flyer. 
And the reason I think that's a supporting detail is because, yes, it is important that Amelia Earhart was a brave flyer. That is very important. But it's not what's most important. What's most important is this idea that she wanted to prove that women could do things that men and other people thought that they couldn't. Um, and one of those things was being a pilot, was being a flyer. So that's why I think that's a supporting detail, but maybe not the most important idea. Okay, that was some good thinking work. I feel like my brain just stretched out a whole bunch. Um, so what we did today is we kept identifying important ideas and really thinking about why those ideas were so important. And then we also identified some supporting details to go along with them. And we thought about why those might be supporting details as opposed to important ideas. So now it's time for IDR. I would like you to find a good spot to read where you can be as focused as possible. I'd like you to find a great narrative nonfiction book if you have any. If not, any kind of book, fiction book, narrative book is great. And read for a good 30 minutes. And as you are reading, I'd like you to continue to practice this skill of stopping every once in a while and identifying important ideas in the text, and then also identifying some supporting details to go along with them. So I have a book ready for myself. Um, this book, I'm on um, Epic Books right now, which is a great website. Um, this book is called Malala, Activist for Girls Education by Raphael Friere illustrated by Aurelia Franti, um, and it's published by Charles Bridge. And this is a narrative nonfiction. This is a biography of a, a woman named Malala, who was an activist for girls' education. So I'm just going to read a few pages, and I'm going to show you how every once in a while I'm going to stop and think to myself, like, oh, I think that's an important idea. And then I'll identify supporting detail and kind of explain why I think that. Okay, Malala is born at dawn in 1997. She is the first child of Ziauddin Yousafzai and Tor Pekai. They live in the large city of Mingora, which spreads out across the depths of the Sawat Valley in Pakistan. Their home is across the street from a school for girls that Ziauddin founded, the Kushal School. Malala's father is not sorry that his child is a girl, as some new fathers in their country might be. That might be important. Ziauddin is very fond of his Pashtun people, but he is not as fond as some of, of some of their traditions. Ziauddin asks friends and family to throw dried fruits, candies, and coins into her cradle as they would for a boy. So I'm just going to stop here because I think that I identified an important idea as I was reading to myself. I think this idea that um, Malala's father is not sorry that his child is a girl, as some new fathers in their country might be. I think that's an important idea because it tells me that Malala may have some challenges doing the things that she wants to do and living the life she wants to live because she is a girl. And that, um, but Malala's father is not sorry that his child is a girl. He's, he believes in her, even though she is a girl. That feels like an important idea. It might tell me about some challenges that could be faced and also how these characters and these people are going to face those challenges. And then a supporting detail I saw was how um, Ziauddin, the father, asks friends and family to throw dried fruits, candies, and coins into her cradle as they would for a boy, because it's like the detail of a tradition that happens for a boy usually. It's not the most important idea, but it definitely goes along with this idea that Malala's father um, believes in her as a girl. Okay, so I'm going to keep reading. And as I read, I'm gonna keep stopping and thinking about those important ideas and the supporting details. When I'm finished reading today, um, when you're finished reading today, I would like you to talk to somebody near you about an important idea and a supporting detail that you found and why you identified that as an important idea and a supporting detail. If you have one of the packets from the district, go ahead and write that important idea and supporting detail down as well. All right, thank you so much for your great thinking and your great work today. Such a pleasure reading these books with you and um, practicing these skills and becoming better and stronger readers, um, even though we're doing our learning at home. 
Um, thank you so much and I'll see you next time.